Welcome to week six of the DB Sport and Scale Quarter Scale SE5A build. This video is a slideshow with a voiceover of some pictures I took while building it. Day 36. This day was a short one. The only thing I was able to do was to form the tail skid and then insert the steering arms and the hinges. Day 37. Today I concentrated on both ends of the model. I started in the back. I finished attaching the rudder with some robot hinge points. The kit includes material for CA hinges, but I don't think they are appropriate for this kind of model. Then I opened the rudder post to allow the elevator connecting rod to pass and drilled for the hinges in the tailplane and the elevators. Fortunately, all of this fits together nicely. Now I need to find a good control rod for the elevator. Going to the other extreme, I glued half the front grille onto the fuselage proper and half of it to the front hatch. This completes the typical SE5A look in the model. Day 38. The kit includes two thick plywood beams to fasten down servos and possibly other things related to the remote control. I made slots from 4mm plywood and glued them to the inside of the fuselage. Then I glued the beams into the slots, so now they should not go anywhere without the rest of the model. I borrowed a servo from another model to check on the spacing. Biplanes usually come with struts between the wings, and this kit has four of them, laser cut from some kind of pine or fir with a strong sweet scent to it. I started by marking the centre lines on the front and back, and then from the centre top to the centre bottom for reference. Next, I planed the edges of both front and back. The third step was to plane the sides down close to the line and the last step was to sand. I started with a rough paper, uh, P80, and ended with fine, P120. Many builders, both model builders and other kinds of builders, tell you often and loudly that they hate sanding. I think this makes me some kind of pervert because I actually like sanding. I spent a good hour forming and sanding the struts and enjoyed every minute of it. Day 39. The lower fastenings on the struts are very simple. Just a hook drilled into the bottom of the struts and then hooked in onto the eyelet that I previously fastened to the wing spar. I acquired a black cotton thread to wind around the ends of the struts where the cross braces fasten. Then I put some epoxy glue on them and as indicated in the instructions. And since I was spreading epoxy I painted some thinned resin onto the fuselage where the engine and tank will sit. Day 40 Today I started forming the balsa for the landing gear and cabane struts. This was then glued onto the wires with a good dollop of epoxy glue. Day 41. The form on the cabanes has now been glued on. Tomorrow I can form the airfoil section to them and then use a filter where needed. The axle cover has been glued together and rounded as per plan. Day 42. Short day today. I formed the balsa on the landing gear using sandpaper, a plane and a sharp knife. While I still had the room, I opened up the slot where the Vickers machine gun fits and then widened it until the gun slipped in. Now I have to add a small wall around the gun and uh, a piece of plywood covering on top of it. I will have to be able to fit the gun after I have covered and painted the model.